Next topic here I want to dive into. And this one will be quick. I'm just going to give some early predictions up and down the card. But UFC 291 stacked card because there's no title. Oh, wait, the BMF. <laughs> People say, oh, the UFC is not like the WWE at all. This is the UFC's WWE belt. Whatever. I could care less about the BMF belt. That has nothing to do with the significance of this card. Oh my god, look at Tapology even has the belt there. That is hilarious. UFC 291, Poirier versus Gaethje 2, Salt Lake City, Utah. Dustin Poirier, Justin Gaethje 2 as the main event. Jan Blahovich, Alex Pereira makes his debut in the middleweight division. Paulo Costa, Ali Skarov, if Paulo Costa signs the contract. Stephen Thompson, Michelle Pereira. Derek Lewis, Marcus Ruggiero de Lima, perfect matchup for Derek Lewis at this stage in his career. CJ Vergara against Vinicius Salvador, Tony Ferguson, Bobby Green, Michael Chiesa, Kevin Holland, Trevor Giles, and Gabriel Bonfim. I mean, what an incredible card, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Seriously, this is stacked from the moment it begins to the moment it ends. Every fight on this card that I'm excited for. Obviously, there's levels to my excitement. You know what I mean? But as a fan of mixed martial arts, as a fan of combat sports, I'm excited for every single one of these. Like I said, we're going to speed through this. We will focus more on this card. Maybe we'll even do an actual prediction video. Like a, We'll throw it back to the old prediction videos. We're just going to do a quick early prediction for this card up and down. And we will focus back on this card as we get closer to the event. Trevin Giles, Gabriel Bonfim, oh, right off the bat. I mean... Trevin Giles is a good fighter, but Bonfim is, I mean, the Bonfim brothers, they're going to make some waves in the UFC after his last win as well. Very confident in both these guys. Undefeated, 14 and 0. Beautiful guillotine choke on the same card as his brother too. I mean, my goodness. He loves the Von Flues as well. Darces, I mean, LFA stud, future stud, samurai stud, and now soon to be UFC stud. I think he wins that, and I think he finishes Trevin Giles as well. First round, yeah, probably in the first round, to be perfectly honest. Uh, Michael Chiesa, Kevin Holland. If Holland can keep this on the feet, he's going to piece up Chiesa. If this goes to the ground, I'm actually excited to see it because both these guys, jiu-jitsu practitioners, Chiesa probably has better grappling, I'll say, than Holland. It's back to back time, actually, for the top four. Kies has had so much time off though. I don't know if his heart's in it anymore to go for a title run. He's got his job working for, you know, ESPN and the UFC. And again, he's faced so many injuries throughout his career. I'm going to take Kevin Holland on this one. Um, Do I think it, I think it probably will go the distance. I don't think Kevin Holland's going to sub him. Kevin Holland might TKO him if Kiesa keeps this on the feet, but I doubt he will. Uh, regardless, Kevin Holland, I think is going to win this one. Tony Ferguson, Bobby Green. Look, I mean, if Tony Ferguson wants to wrestle Bobby Green, I think Bobby Green, he has decent wrestling. He's got hood style, everything, but he's got good takedown defense. Bobby Green's going to keep this on his feet. Bobby Green's going to unfortunately piece up Tony Ferguson. Let's hope this is Tony Ferguson's last fight. Let's hope Bobby Green doesn't hurt him too much and let's hope this is just entertaining all around and tony ferguson and has some fun in there but not too much fun like he was having in the diaz fight because that was a little embarrassing vergara and vinicius salvador 13 ko tkos da, 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 da. lost decision his last fight of contender series yeah i mean this one i like vergara like i don't know too much about salvador oh yes he came off that uh that big win there again early prediction here Riding the momentum, we'll say uh, Vergara. That'll be my early pick. Again, if we do a prediction video, I'll do a little bit more research. I'll watch a little bit more tape. I know Salvador has more experience on paper. I think Vergara has you know, better experience fighting better opponents. Now, next one. The Black Beast is back, ladies and gentlemen. My balls was hot. And this is a perfect opponent for him. He's not going on a title run anymore. He can't compete with the top of the heavyweight division, even though the top of the heavyweight division, other than John Jones, ain't the greatest right now. The Pavlovich is pretty damn good, and I'm excited to uh, what comes for him next. But Derek Lewis... Marcus Rogero de Lima. Marcus Rogero de Lima is nothing special, folks. He's towards the end of his career as well. Both of them don't have the best cardio, though I see Derek Lewis probably the better. Both of them are a little chinny at this stage in their career. Maybe I'd argue Derek Lewis a little bit more than de Lima, but Derek Lewis hits way harder than de Lima. His reach is a little bit longer, and I think his experience fighting way higher level guys than de Lima has, ever has in his career. Derek Lewis will win this one. Probably by knockout or a boring fight three round, but I mean, Derek Lewis will probably get this done. Uh, Wonderboy Thompson against Michelle Pereira. Michelle Pereira is fun to watch. He moves a lot. He does some crazy shit, but he gasses after like two rounds because of all that crazy shit. I think Stephen Thompson proved that he can still fight 
high level guys in the UFC. He proved that against Kevin Holland, even though Kevin Holland wasn't going for the takedowns, which, hey, maybe could have been Thompson's demise. But at the same time, Kevin Holland, though he's a good jujitsu guy, he's not the best wrestler, right? So does Kevin Holland even win that fight if he employs the wrestling? I don't know. I would still honestly say that Stephen Thompson would win that fight. As he can do it, he's got a little bit of takedown defense. Come on. I mean, he was high-level UFC guy, former title contender. But anyways, I think Stephen Thompson um, wins this one. I don't think Pereira's got any tricks up his sleeve. I don't think Pereira's got any wrestling up his sleeve. Um, we talked about Paulo Costa and Aliskarov in a different segment, in a different video. So go check that out. Um, who I think is going to win that one? Uh, Ali Skarov, if they do end up fighting, I think he's going to win that one, but I'll be rooting for Boracina, Mr. Secret Juice himself. By the way, guys, hook me up with a hoodie and I'll I'll, pu I'll pump the Secret Juice or give me a hat or another t-shirt. I'll, I'll pump the Secret Juice merch here on the channel. Jan Blachowicz, Alex Pereira, folks. Pereira making his debut in the middleweight division. Jan Blachowicz has said that he wants to stand and test his striking with an Alex Pereira. That's terrifying. That is absolutely terrifying. Jan Blahovich is going to have to do what he did to Israel Adesanya because isn't this not Israel Adesanya 2.0? Like, look, Israel Adesanya moved up to challenge Jan Blahovich, mind you, for the title then, but is it not like the same storyline? And yeah, Israel Adesanya put up a good fight against Jan Blahovich, but Jan Blahovich, the natural bigger guy, like Jan Blahovich could fight at a heavyweight, he'd be a tubbier heavyweight. <laughs> I love the saying, a fat heavyweight is just a lazy light heavyweight, which again, it's not the case for everyone, but it is kind of funny. Jan Blahovic, though, he's not a lazy light heavyweight. He's he's always in shape. He's a big boy and he utilized his striking, his great defense for the calf kicks. And what is Pereira really good at? Calf kicks. I think he'll stand with him. He'll check a couple leg kicks for a little bit. And as soon as he feels Pereira's power and somehow survives, if he survives, yeah, he's going to go right to the wrestling. But everyone's counting out the legendary Polish power right off the bat. What if he strikes first? Pereira, oddly chinny. And I shouldn't even say oddly chinny. The guy has fought so many kickboxing fights. The guy has been cracked with so many hard shots from head kicks to big shots in kickboxing as well. Now, moving up to light heavyweight, not having to cut as much weight. Is that going to help his chin? Probably. But both these guys are they're pretty old, okay? They're mid-30s right now. They're mid-30s, mid to late 30s right now. I think this is a great matchup. I think it's going to be a fun fight. Jan Blahovich, the key to victory. Stand up for a little bit. Show that you're not scared of him, but then exert your dominance, take him to the ground, and, and out-wrestle this guy ground and pound. Like, no, I know Jan Blahovich is no crazy good wrestler. I mean, we saw what Uncle Ive did as soon as he got to the ground, and Uncle Ive barely even had any legs because Jan Blahovich attacked those motherfucking legs. Pereira yeah, he's got some jujitsu. He's Brazilian. He's got some grappling. He's training with Glover. Not enough to withstand that of Jan Blachowicz, I'd imagine. If Jan Blachowicz decides to stand and bang with this guy the whole fight, Pereira will probably find his shot. But again, depending on what the odds turn out for this one, if it's like, if it's absolutely insane, sprinkle a little bit. And I'm saying if Jan Blachowicz is like super disrespected and comes in as the massive underdog, sprinkle a little bit on that Polish power, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, last but not least, Dustin Poirier, Justin Gaethje. Justin Gaethje has shown that he has not slowed down at all with that war against Fiziev. Now, it was a close fight, but... I rewatched it. Justin Gaethje deserved that one. Dustin Poirier deserved that he's not slowing down either with that war against Michael Chandler, who Justin Gaethje could not finish. So MMA math tells me that Dustin Poirier is going to somehow win this one. They both lost to Charles Oliveira. They both beat Chandler. Dustin finished Chandler. And Gaethje showed that he still has it going up against a absolute killer of a tie guy. I have no idea when the next power slap event is, despite the UFC promoting it like crazy. Early prediction on this one, I'm going to go with the diamond Dustin Poirier. I think he can withstand the early barrage of Gaethje, and he can hit hard too. Now, I know he beat Gaethje in their first outing. I think he will beat him here again. I think it might be closer than it was in their first outing, though. Let's see if Gaethje's... Let's see if his wires don't cross, though, because his wires didn't cross in the Fiziev fight, and he actually performed tremendous. Let me know who you think is going to win the main event, Poirier, Gaethje, and let me know what you think about some of my early predictions. We'll do a more in-depth prediction video for this card, but it is so stacked and we had to talk about it here. F power slap.